This is the AMG 8833 Thermal Image Array Temperature Sensor from Panasonic. Using this sensor, you can build a thermal camera and detect an object on the basis of heat emitted by it. Thermal cameras are widely used for a variety of applications such as detecting temperature anomalies, monitoring thermal performance and even capturing thermal images. However, these cameras can be quite expensive and not everyone has access to them. But what if you could build your own thermal camera using affordable components such as the Raspberry Pi and the AMG 8833 Thermal Image Array Temperature Sensor? This is exactly what this video is about. In this video, we will build a dye thermal camera using Raspberry Pi 4 and display the thermal image on a 7-inch LCD display. There are some written libraries available for the AMG 8833. We will use a few of them and test how really good they work. Using some math plot functions, we can generate a heat map as well as temperature. Whether you want to monitor temperature anomalies in your home, detect heat leaks in your wall, or simply capture thermal images, this project is a great way to get started. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Next PCV and HQ Online. The HQ Online is a one-stop electronic component sourcing platform. HQ Online provides a complete set of electronic component business services. All you need to do is search the electronic component with a part number. As it has a fastest search engine, it will show you the list of all available parts. Add the part to your cart, then place the order. To get started, check the link in the description. The components required for this project are AMG8833 8x8 Thermal Image Sensor Then a Raspberry Pi 4 board with 16 or 32 GB SD card This is a 7 inch LCD screen display from SunFounder that can be used to display thermal images We need 5 volt 3 ampere power adapter A mouse and keyboard are optional for this project Let's have an overview of the AMG8833 sensor first. AMG8833 is a simple thermal camera module from Panasonic, also known as a temperature monitoring device. It divides capture data into 64 blocks of 8x8, giving it a resolution of 8x8 or 64 pixels. Each pixel acts as an individual IR sensor providing a separate temperature measurement making this sensor better than PIR and pyrometric sensor that only offer one temperature value. The AMG8833 features a built-in lens that restricts its viewing angle to 60 degrees making it ideal for detecting objects in the midfield. It operates at a voltage of 3.3V or 5V with a sample rate of 1Hz to 10Hz. Its temperature resolution is approximately 0.25 degrees Celsius and it can detect temperature within a range of 0 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. This thermal camera will cost you around 40 to 50 dollars. The high cost of thermal camera is mainly due to the lens and circuitry as they detect IR waves of 8 to 14 micrometer which requires expensive materials like germanium or chalcogenides to be used. The size and heat dissipation of the camera array also add to the cost. The sensor has 6 pins and only 4 pins are used for interfacing with the microcontroller. The interrupt pin is only used in some cases and ADO pin is used to set the I2C address. The 7-inch touchscreen display is a convenient and user-friendly device that can be used in conjunction with a Raspberry Pi. Equipped with dual-channel speakers and a protective cover and stand, it provides high-definition viewing and portability. Its built-in buttons allow for easy adjustments to volume and brightness as well as the ability to turn the screen on and off. 
Key specifications include a 7-inch display with a resolution of 1024 cross 600 pixels, a working voltage of DC 5V and a rated power of 3.5W. The touch screen features 5-point touch control and is plug and play with a refresh rate of 60Hz. To learn about how to use and set up this display, follow this guide on our website article. Alright, let's assemble this display with Raspberry Pi 4 now. The display comes with an assembly manual. Using this manual, it is easy to assemble it. The Raspberry Pi 4 fits perfectly at the back on the top of these pins. Using some connectors and adapters, the connection between Raspberry Pi and display is established. Finally, an acrylic case and stand can be attached for protection and positioning. Regarding the AMG8823 part, the connection is simple and straightforward. Simply connect the VCC, GND, STA and SCL pins of the AMG8823 to the corresponding VCC, GND, STA and SCL pins of the Raspberry Pi. It is important to keep in mind that the wiring diagram for the AMG8823 sets its I2C address to 0 cross 69 based on the ADO pin being connected to VIN. After assembling the display with Raspberry Pi 4 and connecting the AMD 8833 sensor, the sensor can be placed on the top of the display as a camera. Now, using the power adapter, you can power the Raspberry Pi sensor and display. After the device is powered on, we need to do some settings. Initially, we need to enable I2C communication. This can be done either by using command line or by going to preference and then to Raspberry Pi configuration. Enable I2C communication. Now, when you run this script in the terminal window, the window should show I2C address of 0 cross 69. This means the sensor is working fine. Next, we need to do is to configure the sampling rate for I2C as 400 kHz. This can be done by editing this file and configuring it with some commands. Finally, you can start the programming part now. This is the example from Adafruit which you can test for visualization of thermal images. First, we need to download the Adafruit Python GPIO library. Then, you can install Pygame and SciPy. All the commands and scripts are given in the website article. Finally, run the example script. After a few seconds, a window will pop up that will display the thermal images. If you move your palm and fingers in front of the camera, the thermal image appears in some dark color on the screen. The color depends on the object's temperature. Bring any hot object near or in front of the AMG8823. Thermal camera, that spot will appear red and display the thermal images. For the testing part, you can use hot soldering iron or any hot object. Ok, this was one of the ways to visualize the thermal images. The other way to visualize the thermal image I found on the Maker Potter's website. They have modified the AMG8823 library and using the dataset more details are added to the visualization part. To use this code, we also need matplotlib as well as scipy. After running the script, I found the graphical display is much better. The axis shows the temperature on the graph. The image is also smooth due to the interpolation routine that is added to smooth the infrared image. In this simplified case, bicubic interpolation is used to smooth the image. You can test the visualization by introducing multiple hot objects in place of the camera. Alright, that's all from the video part today. 
the complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and return guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next